Hello, girls and ghouls. This is hot news in a minute. Powered by Yup. That's scary. Yo, what's up, everyone? This is your boy, Willie Bay, with hot news in a minute. Let's go. It is my favorite time of the year. It's time for hot season. Make sure you get your spookity ookity bookity on. With unfortunate news, an employee of Six Flags Open Georgia is dead after a car accident. Yes, it was Sunday evening. Scare actors for the park's Fright Fest were getting ready for the night. Police officers says a 27-year-old female park employee was driving seven of the cast members through the park to their location. It's a cargo van, so there were no seat belts or seats in this van. At some point, make it a maneuver in the park. One of the passengers was ejected from the van and sustained serious, severe head trauma. 43-year-old Andrea Crook sustained head injuries and was transported to Grady Memorial Hospital with severe life-threatening injuries. She was later pronounced deceased at the hospital. Dave Zellner, Six Flags Over Georgia Park president, says, our hearts and thoughts are extended to the family of the employees as well as those impacted by the tragic automobile accident. We are heartbroken. And our hearts and thoughts from hot news in a minute, and yep, that's scary, <clears throat> is with those families as well. VFX had a busy weekend having the brand at two conventions this past weekend, Wicked Fest and Spookala. Patrick Voss and Doug Schaefer, in collaboration with Jose and Molly Z, hits two markets to brand aware VFX to potential clients. Would you see more brands and influencers teaming up to get that brand to expand to further markets? We'll see. But right now, Patrick Voss is onto something cool. Well, the Pumpkin Pulp store is almost done. Brian Blair still have to finish up more products and get stocked up and then it will be open. They will carry most of the Pumpkin Pulp products plus shirts, candles, soaps, and more. They are looking to open up soon. Congratulations to Pumpkin Pulp and their team and their brand new store. Did you know both National Haunted House Day and Friday the 13th ends up on the same day? Yes, it's gonna be a good weekend, y'all. More importantly, there are several very large national events happening this weekend that may slightly take revenue away from the attractions. So HAA is pushing several social media campaigns hard to help spread the word, boost attendance, and bring some revenue to our industry on this unprecedented day. Yes, go and buy a haunted house ticket and get scared. This Sunday on Yep That's Scary at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have our one year anniversary show. So come celebrate with us. We have our special guest, Tyler Maine. He played Michael Myers in Halloween. He was in uh, Don't Play With Fire with Cena. He also was in Troy, Joe Dirt, so many more. We have him as a special guest. He wants to talk about his new project, The Last Spartan Red Tape. So come on in to Yep That's Scary and check it out Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Willie May, and this is Hot News in a Minute. Woo! If you like what you have just heard, stalk us now on all our social channels. Yo, 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 if you like what you have just heard, subscribe now or forever hold your screams. <laughs>